This is my hometown, Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. You see the Pearl Assurance Company up there? I remember going right to the top as a kid and thinking, what an amazing experience, just the height and the sense of power. And on the left there, the Anglo-American building, the red building, great symbol of the stranglehold of international monopolies. All these buildings are new since independence. This whole place really took up after independence. And uh, only now is there this colossal reversal and stagnation. This film you're watching now will be condemned outright by the current government of Zimbabwe. And as a result, I shall be compelled to go into exile. This is the Reserve Bank here. We've just introduced a $500 note, which is almost small change now. Ironically, this will be my second enforced exile. The earlier one took place in colonial times. When I was a kid, my country was still called Rhodesia, a stronghold of the British Empire and paradise for a happy few, the settlers who wanted to cling on to it forever. I'm not prepared to sacrifice everything I've worked for just because um, Britain wants us to have a black majority rule before time. But the black majority rule will come and so it should. But I must be ready for it, a few more. That was not my mother, but it could well have been. Boys, come here, quickly. Come on, come on, up, 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 up. Did you see anything? No, sir. Did you see anything? No, boss. Did you? No, master. This is me in the first film I ever made. Sir, are you a Rhodesian? Yes, I'm a Rhodesian, born and bred. If there's anybody here in this country that should know these black people, it's me. I've been brought up in this country. I've worked with these guys my whole life. I know what they want. I know, for instance, that they respect the tough man. They respect, they like the man with a strong arm. That's what they like. They don't want too much of this freedom. Does them no good. Well, so it's me and it's not me. Crime, I'm acting a bigoted colonist. If you think it's a caricature, take a look at the real thing. Seven,